Nearly a dozen dogs are safe at the Pawtucket Animal Shelter tonight after they were rescued from a home as part of a drug bust Tuesday. The two people arrested in that bust face the judge today. Kayla Fish joins us now from Pawtucket with what's next for the animals and how neighbors are reacting. Kayla. Most of the people who live in that neighborhood didn't feel comfortable talking with us on camera, but told us it's concerning to know something like that was happening so close to home. Many said they're grateful all 11 dogs are now in a better place. These dogs now call the Pawtucket Animal Shelter home. They were rescued from what police called deplorable conditions inside a house on Don Court. That's sad to hear. Ryan Murphy lives around the corner. I have two dogs myself. Um, they're my worlds. So we don't have kids, so like obviously the dogs make up our pretty much entire life. Um, so obviously upsetting to hear that. Authorities seized the animals after searching the home as part of a drug investigation. Inside, police say they found 50 grams of cocaine, a pound of packaged marijuana, scales and packing materials, and $5,000 cash. Police arrested 55-year-old Rafael Diaz and 26-year-old Jamira Jenkins on animal cruelty and drug charges. No plea was entered at their arraignment Wednesday, where they were granted bail but ordered to stay in the state and not to care for animals. The dogs range in age from puppies to seniors. There's various kinds of dogs. They're all some type of bully breed, and they're in... Uh, poor condition for the most part, uh, overweight, poorly fed, poorly treated. Lieutenant Joseph Skayen says they'll need to see a vet to get vaccinated, spayed and neutered, and treated for various conditions. Some of them may need special diets, special foods. Uh, in addition to these dogs, we were already pretty full, so now we're at maximum capacity for dogs in the shelter. Eventually, he says they'll all be put up for adoption, something Murphy told us was reassuring. All right, all the unfortunate pieces aside, if those dogs end up somewhere and get a better home and a better life, um, then I guess that's some shining light in the whole thing. Until then, they'll remain here at the animal shelter. Officials say if you'd like to help out, they could use donations of dry dog food to keep the animals in good shape. In Pawtucket, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.